up guys this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi K20 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest Evolution X ROM on this device and I'm gonna show you the current state of the ROM as this is the latest build of this ROM and this is the 26th May 2020 build if you're noticing over here if you're noticing the build date and the stock kernel is fixie kernel and the security patch is latest of May 5th 2020 the Evolution X version is 4.3 and then of course the android version is 10 and on the top we have the evolution x logo up there and i would say this is a pretty stable build as of right now even though this is a test build i'll put the direct link for the like stable official build in the description box below so do not worry i think that's the 23rd may build which is pretty similar to this one now let me just go into the settings and show you what things do we get over here of course inside security you will find face unlock over here as you can see i have already added my face if you are wondering and the setup was pretty much fine it wasn't a uh, issue now i'll show you the face unlock speed at first as you can see it unlocked so as you can see from the lock screen i have to swipe up then it will like unlock the device by popping out the front camera or the like pop-up camera over here let's do it again the face unlock works flawlessly no issues whatsoever now the fingerprint scanner speed i have been enjoying over here a lot and if you're noticing if i tap over here it unlocks flawlessly without any issues again let's do it with the left thumb and as you can see the fingerprint scanner speed is like super fast here not a problem and it is very reliable almost works 100 percent of the time so i have no issues whatsoever even from the always on display and let me now show you from the lock screen as you can see it unlocks let's do it again just see how quick this one is it unlocks now let's try with the night light turned on it makes the display yellowish of course now from the always on display it unlocks let's do it from the left thumb i mean with the left thumb now i'll do it with the lock screen now let's do this from the lock screen with the left thumb as you can see it took two tries the first one did not work with the left thumb with night light turned on so yeah i would say the reliability on the figment scanner right now is almost like 100 percent in my opinion i have no issues talking about flashing the rom it is still pretty simple you just need to have the like latest firmware but whatever vendor firmware you are on like i am on the 11.0.4 firmware as this is an indian redmi k20 pro unit if you have a different kind of unit like the global one or something you can have the latest firmware and then flash the latest rom build and the fcrypt disabler if your storage is decrypted but if your storage is encrypted you just put your lock screen pin inside the like orange fox recovery or TWRP recovery whatever you have i would still recommend using orange fox recovery with that you just like put that password and then flash the rom and reboot you don't need anything else you can flash magisk if you want but you do not need magisk over here to use banking apps or something as it passes the safety net test right out of the box so google pay or something or any other banking app should work right out of the box here too and as this is the indian redmi k20 pro the drm info like security level shows as level one over here if you are noticing so you do not need to worry about streaming netflix or amazon prime videos in full hd or 1080p now let's talk about the stock launcher over here which is the pixel launcher to the left we get the google's discover page of course and if you swipe up you get the app drawer and if you swipe down you get the quick settings panel of course and everything on the ui seems pretty smooth the widgets and stuff are working flawlessly without any issues but yes this launcher does not have a lot of customizations i usually disable these suggestions over here that's it and like swiping down of course anywhere on the home screen gets you to the quick settings panel and talking about the quick settings panel we do have this fps counter let me enable it and as you can see the fps started showing up over there on the top left so yeah it works super fine with the fps like counter option and the screen recorder over here is still the oxygen waste kind of screen recorder you get this kind of settings like resolution bitrate audio source and then video orientation and stuff you can control from here you also have the option to like change the number of frame rates so that's really cool now let me show you the stock camera this is the miui camera or the anx camera by default i guess and here is how the settings panel looks like and let me go back if you go into the video mode we do not have the vlog mode over here so i guess this is a miui camera and we get up to 4k 60 fps video recording over here so that's not a problem and even if you want to like shoot videos with the front camera and stuff and this works super fine without any issues the front camera led and the sound both works but i have the sound disabled so yeah 
and if I show you the ultra pixel mode and stuff everything works night mode or something with the MIUI camera works fine too and over here we also have the slow motion 960 fps mode so that is not a problem I have also installed Google camera 7 if you haven't seen this Google camera 7 video here is a card for you if you want to have the same settings as mine and night set and stuff with this Google camera 7 works super fine without any issues with all three lenses now I have been using it with uh, MIUI 12 live wallpapers as you are noticing it looks pretty cool if you want this MIUI 12 live wallpapers you can click on the card right here and use that live wallpaper on your device. Now here in the settings panel we have the battery settings of course it does show up the battery temperature and stuff in the battery settings that I really really like and here also we have the smart charging feature if you want to enable it or use it it will charge up to some percentage you can trigger that. And let me go back we also have the battery saver and the battery saver I have used over here the battery saver is really really good over here without battery saver you can get about six to seven hours of screen on time easily but if you are using the battery saver the battery life can go above like eight to nine hours I would say of screen on time I mean so yeah the battery saver on this ROM is really really awesome you can check the full battery usage from here and let me show you the thermal profiles as you can see you can set a thermal profile for a particular app like you can set it to benchmark browser etc as you are noticing so yeah thermal profile per app is there and it does support 18 watt fast charging so that's not a problem now let me go into the display settings here we have the lock screen display inside over here we have the skip lock screen kind of feature and then always on like display is there let me go back we have the dark theme and you can schedule the dark theme of course night light options and stuff is there then we have adaptive brightness or auto brightness live display option is there so you have the rgb control of the screen and then hue saturation intensity and contrast adjustment of the screen inside styles and wallpapers we have this theme customization option you can change that if you want to we have these many lock screen clock options and then if i go into the wallpapers as you can see we have the come alive section and here we have some live wallpapers by default over here you can choose those or we have the living universe these are like by default live wallpapers you can download them like however you want but i have installed the miui like live wallpapers that's why it looks like this over here so you can just install those apks it should work pretty fine with the miui 12 live wallpapers and here we have the colors option by default it's set to boosted you can also choose natural and stuff from here now let me go back we have the screen saver mode and the dpi kind of changing option as you can see and then we have the double tap to wake the double tap to wake does work super fine without any issues the anti flicker mode is there if you need that now let me go back and inside sound settings let me go to the bottom we also have this me audio dirac and you can choose between these many headsets as you can see there are a plethora of options for these like headsets choosing option so yeah the me audio dirac and this hi-fi audio option is there too the sound output via the bluetooth and headphone jack as well is pretty awesome i would say in this rom so i have no issues with that and you can disable this charging sound charging vibration etc in this rom and you can also have like this ring notification etc in the audio or volume panel over here and you can expand the volume panel from here of course now inside over here we have the vibration and haptic feedback customization we have some in call vibration options then touch vibration vibrate for calls is there and then we have the ringtone vibration pattern you can change between these many pattern option now here let's go to the evolver settings and here of course on top we have the about section and the developers name you can donate them if you want from here to the developers directly and then we have the themes option and here we have the accent color choosing option there are plethora option like oneplus and evolution x yolo then flat pink etc orchid purple a lot of options are there for the accent colors you can also choose from these like millions of colors from here you can like choose any color from here you can just click here to set a particular accent color as you would like and then we have the headline and body fonts over here as you are noticing a lot of fonts are there and then there is the icon shapes option and a lot of icon shapes are there too then we have the status bar icon style and then we have the header image if you need that let me scroll down we have the blur now let me move on to the status bar section we have the clock position and stuff then we have the battery bar if you want to use the battery bar you can customize the colors and stuff from here network traffic indicator is there but i'm using the like separate app for that 
then rounded corners and stuff is there if you want to customize that as you're liking you can do that then still as a part logo option is there you can have a particular logo from here you can enable that and change that location of that particular logo from here and then inside status bar icon you can enable the headset bluetooth etc icons and even nfc and stuff if your device has that my device does not now let me scroll down we have the battery style changing option we have the circle dotted field and the text hidden circle big circle options are there you can set the battery percentage next to the icon or inside the icon of course and then the vaulty icons are there there are a plethora of options for these vaulty icons you can also have this asus kind of vaulty icon and you can choose between like a lot of them like this hd oxygen os or like anything you can choose from here Inside notifications, we have the heads up disabling option, then the notification light or the battery charging light. Edge lighting option is there for this pulse. As you can see, you can change the color for this like pulse and you can increase the duration for this notification pulse. And if I scroll down, we have the blink for call waiting and stuff. So yeah, it, it will blink the flashlight, of course. Now let me go into the quick settings panel. Here we have the vibrate on toggle touch, quick pull down, smart pull down, both are there. And here the battery percentage option is there for the quick settings and column and row number customization is there. You can have the brightness icon, brightness slider, etc. And then we have the quick setting footer text, edit icon, etc. Now let me go to the power menu here. We have the advanced reboot for like normal UI or even with the lock screen. So that's cool. You can directly reboot to the recovery or fast boot from here. And here inside gestures, we have the AOSP gesture settings. And there is this touch screen gesture for the haptic feedback it does give me a little bit of haptic feedback whenever i like go back or like go home by swiping gestures and then we have the navigation gesture and here we get a lot of customizations like i have increased the size of this bottom gesture bar or the pill so yeah you can do that if you would like or you can totally hide that if you want to and two or three button navigation is there too like the older android versions there is the adaptive playback option too if you need that now let me go back we have the swipe to screenshot like this three finger swipe screenshot is there this is the asus kind of screenshot gesture a long screenshot and edit option with this screenshot option is like working flawlessly the brightness control by just sliding a finger on the series bar works up super fine and i use this feature on my daily basis so i have no issues with this feature it works flawlessly and screen off power button toggle torches there double tap to sleep on the lock screen and status bar as well is there now let me go into the lock screen we have the fingerprint authentication there is no always unlock with the fingerprint scanner of course right now and fingerprint icons options are there as, as you can see there are plethora of options for the fingerprint icon and let me go back and there is the animations as you can see also plethora of options for the animations i have been using it with the mclaren animation i really really like it all the animations looks really really beautiful i would say over here with the figment scanner animation and here we have the like fingerprint light changing option you can change the light color of the fingerprint scanner to like miui cyan white vivo cyan and a lot of options like this but by default it is set to miui cyan let me scroll down we have the charging info over here so this feature was not really there earlier but right now it is there and yes while the like device is charging with 18 watt fast charger it works super fine it looks really great on the lock screen or the always on display both so yeah i would say this charging info feature was really really needed but right now it is there even on the like stable builds so that's really cool that the, the developer added this feature and here we have the charging animation set to flash this is the little animation appears on the lock screen so that's cool owner info you can set that and clock and widget like date widget customization is there for the lock screen itself and you can increase the fonts change the fonts styles etc with this like kind of feature let me scroll down we have the like music kind of control on the lock screen over here then we have the navigation settings and you can enable the navigation settings if you're using the nav bar invert the layout if you want to let me go back to the animations here we have the option to change the crt scale or like default animation of like locking the device and whole ui animation is there if you scroll down and then we have the quick toggles animation too over here now in the misc settings some things that i am really liking over here which is there is a smart pixel option as you can see it dims kind of some areas of the amulet display it might save a little bit of battery if you're really really running out of battery you can like use this feature as you can see it takes a little bit of time to like change or get the effect but as you can see it kind of flickers from here to there but yeah this feature might really help to save some battery gaming mode is there wake up on charge you can disable it charging animation is there whenever you are plugging in your phone and screenshot type you can change it from here 
now let me scroll down of course i like this feature which is the usb configuration kind of thing and i have set it to file transfer and then you can like control the ambient display brightness and the ambient notification brightness from here and then the dose settings and stuff is there and enable scaling per app is there and inside system settings we have the front camera sound effects again and you can change between these many sounds i have it disabled again now let me go back we have the like normal gestures option again over here and of course i have enabled developer options for some reason i don't know why and then there is the system updater you can check for updates or even install updates from here or you can get all the info about your rom in this like particular section and also the vaulty calling and stuff works flawlessly without any issues there is also this wi-fi calling if you want to use that the only bummer in my opinion is that the stock call recording option is not there but yes the wi-fi calling as you are noticing does work flawlessly and here is the android and geekbench score for you guys in terms of gaming performance you can play call of duty or pubg in the highest settings possible with anti-aliasing and stuff now let's just open some of the apps from memory over here and show you the memory management on this rom as you can see all the apps do stay in memory and the app opening up animations are pretty smooth i have no issues with the like app opening up animation speeds and as you can see the ui stays smooth all the time almost and you can like scroll however you want of course all the apps do stay in memory the memory management on this rom is pretty great in my opinion even though this is a 6 gb ram unit so what do i think about this rom i would say this is one of the best roms out there for the redmi k20 pro right now as far as my opinion goes and i really really use this rom as my daily driver without any issues let me know in the comments if you guys liked this rom or not thank you so much for watching this video guys give it a thumbs up if you liked it subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet this is tito from kdn tech signing off for today i'll catch you guys in the next one bye, -bye now